Today's words are ink and caustic. Hey y'all, Karen here. Here on Daily Derivative, I take two seemingly unrelated words and show you how they stem from a common root word. Now I'm no linguist, but you don't have to be a linguist to think language is neat. Hey there, today's words are ink and caustic. I love it when the words aren't even close in spelling. So let's get started with the definition. When something is caustic, it is able to burn or corrode organic tissue by chemical action. Ink is a colored fluid used for writing, drawing, printing, or duplicating. Ink and caustic share ancestry in the Greek word kain, meaning to burn. Since caustic means to burn organic tissue, that makes sense. It comes to us from the Greek descendant of kain, caustus. It passed through Latin and landed on caustic in the 14th century. So what about ink? Ink took a circuitous route from Greek through Latin and French, with its eventual transition from the French anka. Anka has roots in Greek and cayenne, which is made up of en and cayenne. Literally, en cayenne is to burn in. So how does that work with ink? Well, a popular art style in Greece was to apply a colored wax and to affix it with heat, so burning the wax. When it made it to Latin, it typically referred to the imperial purple ink, but finally settled on any, or especially a dark, color in the English language in the 13th century. So let's put this into a sentence. The ink was made of a caustic material that would burn the wood. And that is how, through the evolution of language, ink and caustic share the Greek word kain, meaning to burn, which is pretty neat. We're on Instagram and Facebook, so why stop at just the daily episode? Check us out at at Daily Derivative.